What's going on, guys? Brian back with another episode of our State of K2 Lethal Zone Guide. All right, now, um, last episode, you guys remember, we pushed up to Spencer's Mill. Our goal was to take out some play cards because we obviously want to move into this base. Uh, we got one play card taken out. It was very, very rough. Um, I, I got it done, but I literally by the skin of my teeth. So it, it, this episode, I'm hoping to go and take this next one out a little smoother uh, than the last one. Like I said, I took a lot of uh, risks last episode, and um, I obviously don't advise you guys to do that. Play it smart. Um, I was trying to really, really save on resources, and that, that's where you get in trouble in State of Decay is when you try to do too much with too little. Now... If you're good enough, you could do whatever you want, but obviously there's sometimes where the game just really starts pushing back at you and you kind of need to, you got to kind of dig deep in your pockets and pull out whatever you have. But I just continued to say, hey, you know what? Let me just barely utilize anything. So I paid for that mistake. But today we're going to head up. We're going to take care of this play card. Now, I already am geared up for this. Um, I got some explosives here in the trunk, uh, a little bit of extra fire in the trunk. I'm now carrying both of our weapons, both suppressed guns, so we don't have to worry about crossbows or reloads or anything like that. We have two um, decently high capacity weapons on us. Um, I have my heavy weapon, I got a smoke grenade, I got distraction items, plague cures, fire, energy drinks, we're, we're good to go. Um, we are not holding back at all on these, this next play card uh, moment, even though right now my guy is falling asleep. Isn't that great, guys? So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to go swap characters, um, and we're going to probably have to roll a hatchet, because this dude, I could drink a coffee, um, but the last thing I want is that coffee to wear off while... A mid play cart killing. All right, so now I got my my guy built back up. He he's ready to go. Uh, like I said, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Sometimes that just happens, guys. You'll you'll be sitting there. You'll you'll get all your shit ready to go on your character, and then next thing you know, they're uh, they're trying to go to sleep, and you're like, really, dude. So, like I said, we have all of this equipment. We got explosives. I got distraction items. I got my heavy weapons. And I'm, I'm going to try to show you a smarter way to take out play cards. Last, take last episode as a bad example. And who knows? This episode might be a bad example, too. But um, I'm going to try to do it a little bit better. So, yeah, like I said, let's grab some gas. I think I have one space available in my trunk. And uh, we're, we'll fuel up when we get over there. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to head over to uh, Spencer's Mill, we're going to get parked, and uh, we're going to push in and take out another play cart. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, here we go, guys. We are back. I'm going to park down the road here just in case I do need to run away. Um, our car is in a safe spot because uh, you want to always have an exit plan. And a lot of the times, actually, you know, we'll park the car up the road a little bit more. I want to see it. Yeah. Because I, I, I'm going to have to run back to my car to gather some supplies. And I don't want to have to make such long trips back and forth, so. There we go. All right, so the explosives we're not going to use right now. Those are going to be for the later phases. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys a really, really cool way to use melee weapons on play cards. Now, um, last episode I did it. And there was no issues, but once I got swarmed and stamina and all this, we ran into some more problems. But I'm going to show you guys how to use smoke grenades. Now, smoke grenades are really, really good on play cards when it comes to melee. And uh, I'll show you exactly why. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to set um, a decoy. Now, you can do this with... Um, Fireworks. You could do this with boom boxes. Boom boxes are nice because you can set it and then <clears throat> do what you need to do and set it off at any point in time. Compared to fireworks, as soon as you light that fuse, you only have um, a few moments before that that starts going off. So we're gonna set that boom box right there, and uh, this is how you can use distraction items. Now, boom boxes are craftable if you find the soldering station. Um, but let's go through, clear out this building first. As we can see, we got a bloater over there. Yo, bloater here. So 
so we're gonna hit him. That should draw some of these zombies toward me. Let me get hit. Whoops. Alright. Damn it. So, mistake was made there. I, I, I was trying to throw a Molotov and I was sprinting and activated my boombox. But I'm going to try to take advantage of that right now. While the boombox is active, I want to lure Fuck, my eyes are anything that's in this house out. Okay, running on empty. So we're gonna just gather all of these zombies up. Um, this is kind of what I was showing you during that night run, um, where you can literally just go around, just start dodging through the zombies, get them all piled up nice. One more pass through, and these guys should be clumped really nice. All right, once you do that, you just burn them all. And you can literally get rid of 30 plus zombies in the blink of an eye doing that. So it's kind of sucky that I, I wasted a boombox, but it is what it is. So we'll just drop another one. All out. All right, I'm gonna switch off of the. Well, yeah, I forgot Shift Q takes over uh, anything. So uh, what we're gonna do here? We now know that the building's clear. Play card is right here. So um, now that I kind of cleared the area out, I am going to wait a second before activating my boombox. Is a lot I actually am going to, or, or using a smoke grenade. I'm going to use that on phase two, and I'll show you guys why. So right now that the area is clear, there's a good chance I can get this play cart down the first phase without um, having to use anything before the zombies even get to me. So we're going to go ahead. There it is. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make space. And he's activate that boombox. Now what that's going to do is that's going to call a lot of the zombies over there. Except the ones that see me, obviously. But we're going to swing around the building here. We're going to lose them in line of sight. And I'm hoping that this boon box calls most of these zombies over to it. And they should all start running towards that boon box. Yep, there they go. Awesome. So now that they're going to be going towards the boon box, I'm going to make my way inside. Okay, so they all came back from inside the house. The boombox didn't last long enough. All right, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold out on resources here. We're just gonna use what we gotta use. All right, so now this is where you want to use your smoke grenades. Um, the good thing about smoke grenade is when it goes off, the zombies will not attack you. Generally. Um, now, I'm not going to sit here and say they'll never attack you, but when you're standing on the smoke, for the most part, the zombies will do that. They'll kind of just stand there. Um, and it gives you a free melee attack, so you don't have to worry about uh, the zombies grabbing you or anything like that. All right, now for this last phase, I'm going to come down here and we're going to get our hands on our explosives. Oh, now we got a juggernaut. Uh oh, juggernaut. Yeah, so I, I generally have a lot of fun with smoke grenades. Uh, you can literally, as long as you pop them on the uh, 
on the play cart itself, you, like I said, you can just stand there. And now I know I'm not going to be using this heavy weapon for this last phase, so I'm just going to drop it. It's just less weight that I got to carry. Let's fuel up our car because we got this juggernaut in the area, and I want to be able to just peace out if we have to. So there's going to be a decent amount of zombies in this house. I'm pretty sure at least 10. Uh, if I had another distraction item, I'd obviously be able to lure them all out. One thing you can do to cheese it, though, if you want to, if you want, if you do want to lure zombies out without bringing yourself too much attention, uh, what you can do is you can come over on like the side of a building like this and make a bunch of noise. So I'm just going to pull my suppressor off really quick. Shoot. And see if that lures any of those zombies out that house. You still taking care of that thing we discussed? Now, because I have placeables, my goal is to kind of just get in the house, place, and then go out. So we can go through the back door. But we just got to be careful because all of the zombies might not have got drawn out by that gunshot. Seems like most of them did though, so that's good. Okay, we got a couple stragglers here. Quite a few stragglers actually. So I'm just going to clear these dudes out uh, with a gun, and we're just going to place and move. Alright, so I can go in. I'm going to place this last placeable. Now this one, we can kind of get away because we could set it off whenever we want. Now, I ho I'm hoping that it's enough to kill it. Good. So we're just going to keep just it moving. Like that, it's history. Oh, yeah, that means we'll see a lot less plague zombies around here. Now, granted, a lot of the equipment I, I'm using here is cheap. You know, it's not very hot. Oh, that, that's Juggies coming. It's not extremely high quality play cart killing resources, but. I want that screamer blowing chunks on me. It got the job done, right? Now the thing was that was multiple different styles of play cart killing there. Um, generally, if you if you jump in with like three smoke grenades, <coughs> you can full melee uh, play cart each phase. One smoke grenade per phase. <laughs> um, the placeables with distraction items is a whole nother way in itself. Uh, shitty thing is that um, that juggernaut is legit right on top of my car. Well, the scream actually might be a good thing. I might pull the juggernaut all the way around. Man, Chuckernaut really does not want to come back here. Let's see, where is he? Yep, okay, so he, he's away from my car, which is all we needed. <clears throat> so we're going to go empty out our inventory at our outpost, and we're going to come back and loot out this play cart. So now we have freed up this base, um, and that was our main goal. That was our main goal. Uh, do we have a mission from that enclave yet? Yep, so they want bullets. Perfect. I'll see you in a bit. And they are going to be Much appreciated. our friends. Whoa. 
Whoa, a lot of plague zombies around here. Plague territory is kicking our butt right now. I can't see anything. So yeah, we're going to swing down by the outpost right here, real quick down here, and uh, yeah, we're just going to be dropping off our stuff, get our stamina items, get our inventory squared back away. We should be good with that. Yeah, reload here. All right, so crowbar is still in decent shape. Um, we don't have like any stamina items. Such a shame. Uh, I actually have zero stamina items. Now, in this case, guys, I have no stamina items. I would have torn down my workshop and built myself a kitchen if I had to. But because I know I'm about to move bases shortly, I'm, I'm not too concerned about it. <laughs> Oh, and she found a snack. Awesome. So she found a snack for us, and we got some meds, and we'll carry that plate that plate cures on us just in case, and some fires. So we're gonna go back, loot out this play cart really quick. Head back to base, grab a bag of ammo, and go make this enclave our friends. We're gonna recruit one of the members. And we're going to move. So, like I said, you don't have to push this point of the game. You don't have to get here super fast. If you don't do it in the same amount of time I did it, um, that's fine. Um, or even if it took you, takes you longer or you do it faster. It, it, however you go about it, do not rush this part. I feel like that's where a lot of people get in trouble is trying to take out early game play cards too soon and you're not ready for it. Um, like I said, if you are ready for it, like go for it. All right, so we go around and grab some samples real quick. Okay, awesome. We got those. Swap out that backpack. Um, swap out that. That is a lot to carry. Nice. We got some uh, energy drinks. So decent loot. Decent loot. We got a little SP5 custom here. It's okay. Um, it's not like my ideal sidearm. All right. Let's get back to base. Grab that ammo. And uh, I'll see you guys when I get over to that enclave. All right, guys, so I swung by base. I grabbed the ammo. I dropped everything off. Our inventory's nice and cleared out. I got the necessities on me. Um, we're, right now, we're here to just recruit. So, got this horde of zombies here. I'm actually just going to fight these dudes. Um, try to get a little bit of XP. Been smushing a lot of zombies with the car, so. Now, I got to be a little careful because I do have a rucksack on my back, which is going to make my... Uh, Stamina bleed a lot faster than normal. I cannot keep this up. Stamina regain. Now I don't know if you guys know, but if you run your com stamina completely out, it actually takes longer for it to start regenerating. So if you just run it down right to a sliver and then stop, it will actually start regenerating a lot faster. Wow, that zombie stood up really fast. All right, let's get these guys their bullets, and let's see who we're going to recruit. I believe I already checked these people out and came up with an idea of who I wanted. Um, I wouldn't mind a medic right now. I owe you one. Don't get dead, okay? Good to see you alive, buddy. Come in. 
So she has no skills. Oh, yeah, she was the blank. Good to see ya. He's medicine. So we could actually probably just grab him. What's going on, hun? And a gardener. So I think we're gonna grab the medic guy. Oh, yeah. Um I I wanna start working towards um you know, some of the mid-game things that we're going to be discussing in this guide. Um, and getting things like medicine is really, really important for that. So, I guys, I do advise you to get medic because you want to work towards getting a pathologist because it's just going to reduce plague. That uh, plague expenses, like uh, crafting items and stuff like that, it makes it cheaper. And... Um, the new pathology skill ever since I believe update 25 uh, now affects your whole community. So it gives plague resistance to your whole community. So it's really, really, a, oh, yeah. it's We're a really good skill. Like you to join us. So now that we have our medic, there's certain functions back at base. I told you guys I wanted to get better at buffs and facility uh, actions because I'm not very good at them myself. And there's a lot of things you can do back at your base that increase your medicine skill like if you craft bandages if you craft um i believe no that's chemistry chemistry this right here um if you produce meds it it'll raise your um your medicine skill and your chemistry skill so doing this whenever you can granted it takes 15 minutes but you like i said if you know you're not gonna be using your infirmary for much um over the next 15 minutes you could use this and in the case of an emergency you can just cancel it um but this will help you build up your medicine skill pretty quick on your survivors. But right now I don't have any ethanol. Um, but I actually wouldn't mind getting my hands on some ethanol. So you know what? Let's let me see. So the, like bars and taverns are a good spot for ethanol. Or even food sites. You can generally find some. But I don't know if there's a... I know there's a bar over here in... Um, In Spencer's Mill. So we'll probably go over there once we move. But yeah, now that we have that survivor, uh, we got all, we've met all of the requirements. We have the influence that we need. Uh, we're, our food is going to start taking a little bit of a hit. But we're going to go. We're going to get moved in to this new base. And when I get there, I'll, uh, we'll start getting everything set up. So I'll see you guys at that new base. All right, guys. So here we are. We are back at the base. And uh, I brought a lot of friends with me. Um, that guy we just recruited just started fighting with people, so I, I'm wondering if he has a negative trait. But if he does, um, we can get rid of him once we move into the base. But we're fighting for what's ours. Alright, base is clear, but we gotta be careful there's a juggernaut really, really close by. Um, so, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna deal with that juggernaut before... Um, before I move my people in because... Oh, look at that. So we got three bloaters right here. Where's that? Four bloaters. That's no, three. Um, we're gonna deal with the... Four bloaters. Yeah, yeah. No, I got a freak here. It's a lot of bloaters. And we're going to go get our car and we're going to go take care of that juggernaut because the last thing we want is to move my people in here and that juggernaut come over here and start start wanting these problems. Because juggernauts tend to actually want that smoke and uh, I don't want to give it to them. They got big bellies. They can, uh, they can, they can handle a lot of smoke. So, you don't have to technically fight the Juggernaut. Um, you could just lure him away. But, 
What's the fun in that, right? We, we like plague samples, and juggernauts are guaranteed plague samples. Now, this road is a little finicky here. You got to watch it with the bend. Uh, it could be a little bit, bit of a pain in the butt trying to bump into the juggernaut with your car. Okay, so I actually want to spin around. Try to get the juggernaut to come this way. There we go. Now we got a lot more runway. Now, technically, that juggernaut would have just stayed up here. Um, and we wouldn't have had to worry about him. But I don't want to have to worry about him just slowly inching his way back down to my base. So. But, you know, he's kind of far away. He's minding his own business. We might just leave him for now. No, screw it. Let's kill him. Hadouken! I gotta get those samples. Three samples. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so we are we are good to go. Base has been cleared. Juggernaut is gone. All right, so we're going to have probably a couple more friends come and join us here. It is what it is. Once we get this place actually claimed, push our safe area out so we'll be able to at least drive in and out of our base without dragging in tons of zombies every single time. I'm so beat. There we go. So once you get to this part and you finally move in, you want to get hit the ground building quick because um, you have a, a bonus to build speed when you first move in. So these facilities are only going to take a couple minutes compared to if you wait, it could take a very, very long time. Now, you got to be careful because once you move into a base and you start building, I've actually had it to where... I'll get, a, I'll get a siege within like a minute of uh, starting at the base. And say you jump into a base, you start building everything, your your noise attack, your, your noise is going to go really, really high up. And you're going to get some pretty big sieges. Now, if that does happen to you, pry it out the window, guys. Um, especially if you get up to like a massive level siege early on in game. Um, that's almost a guaranteed one to two juggernauts in a feral. You want to just leave. It, it doesn't just get in your car and take off. Um wait for the seeds to be over and then come back and yeah it's a little cheesy but uh this is a guide to teach you how to win lethal so obviously if, if you're like a good player and you've been playing for a while and lethal is an issue for you yeah stay and fight but for those of you guys who want to survive that is a mistake that a lot of people will make early on is you'll you'll accidentally start making too much noise you'll build too much stuff and you'll trigger a huge siege that you weren't ready for and uh, it can get it can get messy. So I'm actually gonna switch to Addy really quick and give her a gun. Now that we got some extra weapons. Um. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a minute here. We're gonna set up the base. I got. I'm gonna wait for all of these uh, to finish building. I'm gonna clean up this trash and I'm gonna get some facilities uh, put in here. And I'll I'll once that's done, I'll come back and I'll tell you guys exactly why I built what I built. And uh, we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys there. All right, guys. So everything at the base is taken care of. Um, I actually had a mission where somebody came and stole food, but then I accidentally swapped off the character. And now that food is gone. So that sucks. But um, 
once we take out this play card, this whole entire town is going to be ours, but we still got a lot of places that we can go loot, so I'm not super worried about it. We even have a tartan mart right across the street, so I want to show you guys what I did really quick. So I repaired both of those spots. Let's actually get this going. Um, that's one of those buffs that just give you morale, and there doesn't cost anything but a little bit of uh, labor. Since everything on my base is built, it doesn't really matter if I'm using labor or not. Um, so I got those fixed. I built myself an infirmary, which we still need to get leveled up to level two, but right now we don't have the uh, materials, so that's going to be a target for us. Um, I built my workshop, and I built a kitchen so we can manufacture our own um, stamina items, and if my food situation does get out of control, I can always come in here and enact rationing, which will cut my food consumption down, and we'll be able to manage that. Plus, I can also get more... Um, morale bonuses from the feast too so if you want to activate a feast and you want to activate your uh toilets over here that's like plus 20 morale so this is what we got so far now this base is really good guys it has so many small slots and i find small slots to be better than large slots there are some really good things you can build with large slots but um you can easily easily beat the game in this base 100 guaranteed no problem beat the game in this base um and another thing i yeah, went ahead and did is i upgrade our i upgraded my food outpost to level two so as you guys can see we're only losing four food a day we still are um on a little bit of a deficit so i do need to eventually get another outpost but or build a garden and um i i don't know what i'm gonna do yet i'm probably i might just end up building a garden and um progressing like Tressie's missions to get a grow chem i haven't exactly filled it out i want to figure it out what i'm trying to figure out the best way for you guys to set up your bases um but early on these i would say these are kind of necessities and this is an easier way to manage your food than using the uh a farm so you know honestly i really don't need that i could uh, you know what let's do it because i'm gonna have the i'm gonna have the morale bonus from this um i might as well just send axe rationing now, I am going to take a little hit to my stamina, but it's nothing major. And as you guys can see, this is going to turn my food loss. Right now, we're losing four food a day, and it's going to cut it down to probably, like, only, a, like, one or two. So, um, now, at this point, like I said, you just want to focus on building your base up um, and building relationships with other people. Now, I got this infestation over here that i do need to take out i don't know if i'm gonna make it to that this episode i really want to make it but i have a stranger at my base and i want to go see what they want because sometimes these strangers will give you cool things like scent block and stuff like that so we're just gonna go quickly and see what they want hey what's up okay so this is um no problem. This is just jar zombie. Now zombie is good and all if Later. you want to lure zombies, but I gen I generally don't use zombie. Watch the feral. Come on, dude, why are you messing with me? I didn't do anything. I didn't shoot you. Go much longer without a rest. There you go, dude. He's like, yo, screw that. I'm coming inside the base. <laughs> um, so what does he want me to do? He wants to gather plague samples. Um, I think this one you could actually just give him plague samples. Yeah, yeah, you could just give him five plague samples, I believe. And uh it just works. I think this is what we're looking for. Yep. Hell yes. I appreciate that. Here, take it. You've earned it. Later, pal. Awesome. Like I said, I'm not a huge zombie user, but who knows? Maybe we'll have some hostile enclaves later on down the road that we will want to deal with. So, um, really quick before we end this episode, we are going to go out and um, see if we can get a little bit of food. Right across the street. Um, shouldn't be too bad. And we are also got some weapon remains, so I'm going to make sure that, like I told you, make sure our uh, base is working for us while we're gone.
All right, so yeah, we're just gonna run over real quick. We should be able to throw everything right in our backpack. Is that another juggernaut? So it's gonna be nice. Oh, actually, uh, it's definitely gonna be nice to get uh, the plague territory gone so this area is no longer infested with plague zombies. Um, and that's generally what you would want to do around your base and like the town that you're like living in. This might just clear up. It's just one last thing you gotta worry about. I think there's a screamer inside. A lot of zombies inside, actually. Don't have eyes on the screamer. That's him right there. Nope, that's just a plague zombie. I think the screamer's. Oh, screamer's on the side of the building. Nice. Alright, so firing this place up, we're gonna, you're talking at I only have one stamina item. Um if I can clear all these perimeter zombies, I might be able to deal. There's only like six inside. Shouldn't be too bad. But uh if them six scream, it obviously could turn into a situation, but we should be okay. If I have to shoot, I'll shoot. It's not a big deal. I want to take him out. Take him out. Save our stamina. Yep. Okay, so we got a lot of zombies coming. Um, and that's generally how it goes. Decided to screw it. You know what I mean? Like, we'll just shoot. We'll just shoot. Maybe we can trade this to someone. All right, let's get in here, get some food, and we will be done with this episode. <clears throat> so yeah, um, like I said, we got we got that play cart done today. Uh, we got moved into our new base. We got our base set up. And next episode is just going to be working, focusing on um, looting, getting our materials so we can get that level 2 uh, infirmary, and just kind of slow building. We don't need to really worry about pushing play carts again or anything. I actually probably should have brought my car. I think we might get meds out of here too, but that's fine. Um, we don't have to worry about pushing too many play carts. Now, I do want to get rid of this other heart in my town, but I'm not going to go out of my way to do it unless I just get a... Some good resources to take care of it with. How big is that going to be? Not too bad. So, we're going to end this episode on that. Big fat nothing. All right, so we do got meds in there that we got to loot. All 
All right, so yeah, we're going to get these uh, resources deposited and defend the siege. And hopefully uh, we're still standing. Like I said, it shouldn't be that bad of a siege. It should be one minute. And we have a of I don't think we're even going to get a feral. Got a couple 45 shot. I don't, I don't have a whole lot of ammo. Uh, a little, the reason why I was a little hesitant on shooting, Down but... Last magazine here. Um, you know what? We actually might swap over to using the Bolt Scout for now. Just because we have more ammo for it. Now, this isn't even the ideal Bolt Scout. Uh, the one that with the scope is way better. But, um, hey, it's better than nothing, right? Uh, just in case shit does get crazy, let me grab some Molotovs. Like yours. There's a screamer coming. Been keeping safe. It's ugly out there. Yep, right there. Two screamers. I think the other one I didn't kill him. Yep, I just knocked him down. Good shot, dude. I love this gun. we go so that is done we defended the base siege nothing that bad uh, this base is also really good if you get a tower built right here um, really good sight lines for your people um, they defend this base really really well so um, again I do appreciate you guys for watching if you guys haven't already smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll see you guys in the next one peace